أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم فقلت استغفروا ربكم إنه كان غفارا يرسل السماء عليكم مدرارا ويمددكم بأموال وبنين ويجعل لكم جنات ويجعل لكم أنهارا رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي فالحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم قرآن ويكلي 29th جوز and we are looking at Surah Nuh the 71st surah of the Qur'an. I chose to share with you today the 10th, 11th, and 12th ayat of this surah in which Nuh alayhi salam is actually telling Allah what he did with his nation, what he's already accomplished, and how things haven't been working out, things haven't changed for them. But Allah chose to mention this passage, and in it there's a beautiful gift. And that gift is, what do you get when you genuinely make istighfar? when you ask Allah to forgive. Obviously, you're asking Allah to forgive. So what you should get in return is forgiveness. But there are actually additional benefits to asking Allah for forgiveness that are mentioned in the ayah. So the obvious gift of asking for forgiveness is the actual forgiveness itself. But it has some worldly benefits. In the, even in this world, you will start seeing the benefits of asking Allah to forgive you. So what are they? فَقُلْتُ اسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ غَفَّارًا Then I said, seek forgiveness of your master. No doubt he is one that continually and repeatedly and extremely repeatedly forgives and forgives and forgives and forgives and forgives. يُرْسِلِ السَّمَاءَ عَلَيْكُمْ مِدْرَارًا If you do ask forgiveness from your master, then he will send rain upon you that will be full of life. Notice, rain came upon the people of Nuh. This is Nuh talking. Rain did come, but it was full of death. He says, you ask Allah to forgive, He will send rain that will be filled with life. You are living in a city that has a drought. What's one way to get the rain to come? Istighfar. You make istighfar, Allah will send rain from the sky. He says, وَيُمْدِدْكُمْ بِأَمْوَالٍ وَبَنِينَ And He will extend your means when it comes to money and children. All kinds of monies and all kinds of children. You will live a good, wholesome, worldly life, full of all the blessings you can enjoy. What, is, what are the blessings? Rain from the sky, monies, kids. وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ And He will put in place for you gardens. وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ أَنْهَارًا And He will place, put in place for you all kinds of rivers. Our deen comes with worldly benefits packages too. Istighfar. Genuinely asking Allah to forgive and Allah will shower your life with worldly blessings while you are getting ready for the blessings of the Akhirah. What a beautiful religion. What a beautiful thing. You didn't have to ask for the rain. You didn't ask to ask for children. You don't have to ask for children and money. You don't have to ask for gardens and rivers in this world. You don't have to ask for that. You genuinely have to ask Allah to forgive. He's so happy with you asking for forgiveness, He'll give you this stuff anyway. This stuff is nothing to him. This, this is a big deal to you, it's nothing to him. What's a big deal to him is that you would ask him for forgiveness. That's valuable to him. There's a sense of perspective is given in these beautiful ayat of what, it, what is treasure to Allah and what is treasure to us. You know, قُلْتُ اسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ غَفَّارًا يُرْسِلِ السَّمَاءَ عَلَيْكُمْ مِدْرَارًا وَيُمْدِدْكُمْ بِأَمْوَالٍ وَبَنِينَ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ أَنْهَارًا Allah is talking to what kind of people? A kind of people that are engrossed in sin and they think if they obey Allah and they ask Allah to forgive, obviously if you're asking Allah to forgive, you're not going to do crimes against Allah anymore. If we don't do crimes against Allah, how are we going to make our money? How are we going to get a good life? How are we going to enjoy our family life? Allah says, you don't have to think that obeying Allah means you won't enjoy your life anymore. You'll actually have a better life than you could have had. Because when you were trying to make a good life for yourself, only you were on your side. But when you ask Allah for forgiveness, Allah is on your side. Allah will provide the furnishings. Allah will provide the resources. Allah will provide the children. SubhanAllah. May Allah make us truly make us a people of istighfar. And through it, not only clean, you know, make our dunya better, but of course, grant all of us His wonderful, wonderful forgiveness on Judgment Day. Barakallahu li wa lakum, wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.